there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking the royal family. Today we are talking rumors that Kate Middleton is here in the United States, you guys, receiving allegedly cancer treatment at MD Anderson in Houston, Texas, you guys. Make it make sense what is going on and, and here is the thing uh kensington palace they, they've already come out and denied this but this is everywhere globally because this is what happens when you are trying to be secretive of what really is going on with kate middleton and all of the previous cover-ups uh have completely you know uh fell at the wayside and now we are at even more uh you know potentially i mean and this can go either way right so i'm gonna read this article so this is from the houston chronicle right and so it says is kate middleton seeking medical treatment in houston british royal officials say that that's false uh, a rumor that Kate Middleton is being treated at the MD Cancer Center in Houston is false. According to Kensington Palace representatives, speculation about the princess's location has grown since she announced her cancer diagnosis in March. She began preventative chemotherapy in February, according to Kensington Palace, with no estimated date of when she might return to public duties. Middleton stepped away from public duties and a Palace Insider told Us Weekly in June that she may never come back to the role that people saw her in before. Um, Amanda Mata, sorry if I'm butchering your name, shared a video Monday morning on her royal family focused TikTok account, Mata Effect. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, discussing a Reddit post that claims Middleton recently stayed at the St. Regis Houston. Uh, and then the article also continues saying that she was visiting friends at the St. Regis, Regis this weekend and that they'd spoken of her being at the hotel. Has anyone else heard this? Assuming she would be here for treatment, hoping for the best outcome for the family, the post reads. Um, and as a result of this, Modest TikTok had nearly half a million views and more than a thousand comments by early afternoon yesterday on Monday. I think this theory about Kate and her whereabouts makes a lot of sense when you stop to think about it, Mata said in the video, adding that she has heard similar stories that place made Middleton in Houston. However, not everyone is convinced um, she won't be in a hotel. She'll have her own house somewhere secluded, one commenter wrote. Some, on the other hand, believe the rumor might have some truth to it. It makes sense that she would seek the very best treatment no matter where it is, a user wrote. MD Anderson cancer representative said the hospital is unable to comment on whether or not an individual is a patient due to patient privacy laws. Well, well that's not a denial. <laughs> yeah, either. Um, but the cancer center known for its groundbreaking cancer treatment and research has treated celebrities, including Eddie Van Halen and Chris Evert. Uh, so again, uh, and the Reddit post um, I had also found as well. So I will quickly uh, read that as well. Uh, and so it says, uh, you know, uh, was visiting friends at the St. Regis. They had spoken of her being at the hotel. Has anyone else heard this? Assuming she would be here for treatment, hoping for the best outcome for the family. And then somebody reported, um, posted as well. They had like over 600 likes in the comment. It said, if that's the case, I would imagine the cancer is worse than what they are originally have said. Hopefully not. And either way, hopefully she receives the best care possible and recovers fully. And then somebody else was talking about their experience with their kid getting treatment at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. You guys, here's the thing. I mean, anything at this point is plausible because that's how shoddy the reporting and everything else has been as it pertains to Kate Middleton's whereabouts. We have now uh, reignited and reactivated the conspiracy theorists um, who still are on record saying they have not seen Kate Middleton since the end of 2023, you guys. Uh, it, it's a disaster, you guys. It is an absolute disaster. Uh, you know, either she's, I, I mean, there's a multitude of possibilities, right? Because one, we still haven't even seen two of the three kids, right? We've only seen one. And and then we've had multiple Photoshop gate incidents. Uh, and then we had the fake video of somebody briskly walking with Prince William that clearly was not Kate. 
And uh, then we had the fake, uh, you know, photoshopped image of, of what was supposed to be Kate Middleton with her mom in the car with the Photoshop vehicle with five tires that looked exactly like Katie Holmes, uh, who had a bloated face and all the things. And the next thing you know, there's this video of Kate announcing her cancer diagnoses. And it's a completely different person from the Photoshop photo of the alleged Kate that was with her mom in the vehicle and then a completely different Kate Middleton than the alleged Kate that was uh, walking briskly at the farmer's market uh, with Prince William, you guys. And, and, and so it has just been one thing after the other. And, and the issue is the conflicting stories. First, you guys said off the bat, this was a preventative surgery that was going to happen in January. Kate would be back by March or April. Then you guys kept delaying, delaying, delaying another month, another month, another month until you got, got to June and said, okay, it's going to be June. Then um, also you were talking about how uh, Kate Middleton had started working from home. Um, you said this back in April uh, and that she would be back to public duties by May or June. All of these things, right? And so even after the cancer diagnoses and the announcement, uh, you guys said that she allegedly had flown off with a helicopter with Prince William that we still have yet to see any receipts of. There's been zero receipts outside of this video. And even in this video, uh, people still have some questions of this authenticity of it, right? But nonetheless, uh, it, it's just been one thing after the other. And then there are the fake articles that have been coming out over the past couple of weeks saying Kate Middleton, uh, you know, is out for the first time, is seen. And you guys are using photos from previous years. You're not using anything that is in 2024. So how was she spotted? How has she been seen? Allegedly, but you can't use any current photos make it make sense and, and then you said that kate middleton is going to speak out uh indicating that she's going to talk to somebody in person uh regarding this letter she wrote because again she has all of these commitments she's supposed to be a part of and um you know sometimes she's uh still listed to be a part of it and then last minute it's like oh no she's not going to be there right so it's a, it's a disaster all the way together because i don't understand at this point when the cancer announcement was made why everything all the engagements were just canceled off the bat and following up like you said in the other article recently the kate was not doing anything until she got the medical clearance so so why are we doing all this back and forth trying to put out these feelers to make it seem like Kate Middleton might be back to get people's hopes up to think that Kate Middleton's going to be back to doing royal duties this soon only for you guys to pull back and say oh no that's not going to happen oh no she has to be cleared by doctors but you guys are pushing out the false narratives so again it wouldn't even shock me at this point if she's in the U.S. because it's clear as day she's nowhere near uh, the family she's nowhere near her husband she's nowhere near her kids so so it's clear as day that something's up and again, uh, we still have, you know, the, um, you know, former worker that said that, you know, is still alleging that Kate Middleton's in a coma. Uh, we still have, you know, the alleged, uh, you know, ambulance that was at the palace at the end of last year uh, that nobody, you know, wants to talk about or report on or, or discuss who the patient was. Uh, we have, you know, King Charles, who is, you know, open about this cancer diagnosis that he has that seems like it might be a little bit rough on him. However, anytime there is any potential rumor of him kicking the bucket, uh, he immediately comes out, you guys, uh, to show you his face, to walk and talk and take pictures with the people to let you know that you are not going to kill him off anytime soon because those death rumors have been starting since St. Patrick's Day weekend. And King Charles, ever since then, has been making it a point to let you know you're going to see him no matter what. Cancer or no cancer, right? However, everything is so weird and bizarre and secretive as it pertains to this Kate Middleton stuff, which is why people keep trying to dig to find out what the truth is, right? Now, here's the thing. Uh, it's a violation uh, of, of many proportions. Uh, if Kate Middleton really, really is staying at the Regis Hotel in Houston, that should have not been something that should have even gotten out there. Um, also, it is illegal. It is a HIPAA violation to reveal any patients, um, whether it's, you know, famous or not or VIP or not revealing that information of who is in the hospital, who is getting treatment, who is there for a doctor's appointment 
all of that is a violation of hip hop, but we have known in the past from famous celebrities, especially at Cedar Side Night and others, that people for a lot of money are willing to sell their souls for a check from TMZ or any of these other tabloid magazines uh, to say, hey, a celebrity was here. A celebrity gave birth here. A celebrity is here for treatment, right? A celebrity that had a breakdown, they're, they're at our hospital, right? People are willing to do that, right? Because you figure if you get a lump sum of money, if they give you six figures, and that's more than what you're getting in a year, or by the time taxes and everything else comes out, it's not the same, right? And so you can make a quick buck selling out uh, some private information on someone famous, but what is the cost when it traces back to you? right so it is just completely and utterly wild you know how far down the rabbit hole we are going as it pertains to kate middleton i felt that they should have never said anything from the first place they shouldn't have rushed out the photoshop photos they shouldn't have kept trying to make these statements these glimmers of hope to make it seem like you may see kate middleton this year because now they're in a pr disaster right and now what's going to happen is everybody now is going to say, oh, Kate Middleton's here. Kate Middleton's there. Kate Middleton's everywhere, right? And obviously there's something that they want to be kept hidden as it pertains to Kate Middleton because this is the same Kate Middleton who loved the spotlight, who loved all of the positive press that she was getting in the media and all of the UK tabloids. So even a cancer diagnosis was not going to bring her down which is why everything that has been taking place seems very sus, you guys. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.